Now let me introduce our shooting star for channel Wi-Fi wireless switch. The switch is supposed to connect to four electric devices or one motor and can be remote controlled by app DV Link. It's supposed to manually switch among three modes, entry mode, self-locking mode and interlocking mode. As you can see, there are three power supply specifications and this one supports a 5 volt input. You can power through this 2 port or the USB port. And this one supports 5 to 32 volt. And this one supports 220 volt or 5 volt. All of them have a 433 microphone module and supports 433 microphone RF control. Here I will take the 5 to 32 volt switch for example. I don't have I don't connect to any devices but uh, you can hear the sound and see the LED data to judge its working state. Uh, this is a channel 1, channel 2, channel 3, channel 4 and there are four switch here on and off switch. This one is for channel 1, channel 2, channel 3, and channel 4. Um, the first one, the on and off switch. Also, the was as uh, a Wi-Fi pairing button. As you press and hold it, the Wi-Fi LED will fast blinking. And as you can see, this is the 433 megahertz module. And so this one, this one is the working mode switch. As you press it, you can switch among the three modes: in-chain, self-locking, and interlocking mode. So to add it to Evening, you should firstly open. The app EV Link. Yeah, here's all my devices. So, firstly, I should tap on the app icon, then Press the first button here. This is the on and off button for channel 1. Just long press it. Okay, printing fast. And then click this. Enter the Wi-Fi name and password. And remember Wi-Fi password. Click this. It will take you a few minutes. Let's just wait. Okay, it asks you to name the device. Okay, let me make it complete. Add it successfully. Perform. Okay, this one is the device that I just added. So now it is the interlocking mode. As I told you before, that uh, the device uh, supports entry mode, self locking mode, and interlocking mode. And how to make it? Firstly, you should press the working mode switch, and then you can switch among the three modes. So 
Now it is engine mode. In engine mode, tap on. Connected device will be turned on for 0.7 seconds and then auto off. Let me show you. Turn on, everyone will be turned on for 0.7 seconds, then auto off. And when you press the walking mode button here, it will switch to another walking mode. So the next one is um, self locking mode. You can see the LED now is uh, light up. In self locking mode, tap on and open. You can turn on or off connected device immediately. When you switch the, when you press the walking mode button, you will be able to switch to another mode, and that is interlocking mode. In interlocking mode, each time you can only turn on one device, and this mode is great to control DC motor clockwise and high clockwise running. Or you can press the switch on and off a switch here. The status will immediately show on the interface. So how to pair with the IF remote controller? Um, as you can see from the 433 megahertz module here, you will see there is the switch here. Press it for 2 seconds and then it will enter into the learning mode. Then you can press the a, B, C, D button on the I remote here. Okay, let's do it. The LED is light up. Press A, B, C, D. Switch to another walking mode. Switch to the self locking mode. And you can see the state will be shown here. To play the IF codes, 
uh, we can press and hold the learning button for 8 seconds so you see the LED turn off press and hold it for 8 seconds Okay, now press it, you will not able to control it.